Welcome back, dear viewers, to the Musings of Maverick channel. I'm your host, Maverick, and today we're going to be watching Senru Shoujo Episode 4. So I apologize that this was delayed by about a day or so. I had some other stuff I had to do to, and catch up. But anyways, uh, I have not forgotten this series. I do think that I will continue to be making it. It is pretty funny. Uh, last episode, we also learned that the, the male lead... Uh, AG is pretty much one of the densest MFs there, you know, you, all the tropes of the dense male characters. At least it's not a harem, right? Um, but anyways, uh, it's still funny, so I probably will still be watching it, but we can probably expect a lot of facepalm moments. So anyways, not much else to talk about. Let's just get into the episode and get the show started. So let's begin in three... Two, one, play. Oh, I saw a shadow move. Ah, and here's the opening. So let me skip this real quick and I'll see you guys in a second. And back. Oh, a new character? All right. Canvas girl, so it looks like somebody who likes to... Oh, is she going to be sort of like Nanako? Except, so she can't talk, except she can draw. Oh, by the way, I don't think... I forgot if I mentioned it last episode, but the opening song uh, has a full MV version that's out now. So you guys can go check that out if you want as well. What? Oh. <laughs> uh, you're doing this on purpose, aren't you, Press? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> These two. Why do you always have to have sunglasses, Press? Okay, so she's gonna be looking for the stalker? Okay, what the heck are these translations? <laughs> Never mind. I know, I'm watching this, uh, the version I'm getting it from is from VRV, which is, should be Crunchyroll. And I find like the translation quality fluctuates quite a bit. <laughs> ah, she looks like she's from a different school. <laughs> oh. 
Ah, she's quite cute. Okay, yep. Handbook? <laughs> I like how AJ is just completely accepting of this situation. <laughs> and then you got some pretty good interpretations. Uh, some good understanding skills. I guess he's used to somebody not talking, actually verbally talking with him. Are they even in the same school though? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why, I just find this so hilarious. <laughs> Wait, is that her voice? <laughs> that voice does not fit what she looks like as at all. <笑>あと俺と奈々子の結婚祝いの話で昨日に見てもらえる。あんた、なんで私が馬鹿ぶりなんだよ。あいつ、昨日、おととい、昨日の夜の身の小路見てください。そう、昨日の夜の身の小路
Draw from the heart. Dude, that was... Uh. Ah! Lulz. Lulz. Aw, she's cute. I like her. I like her. Misaki? Yeah, like last episode they actually had translated lyrics. What the hell? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I'll see you guys after the ending song. And so there we go. Finally, another new character, Kinochan. Uh, I'm not actually quite sure why her school uniform is different from the others. I thought she maybe went to a different school, but since she's able to get into this school and, uh, you know, make pay visit to the literature club, I'm assuming that she actually does go to this school. Maybe she, maybe the school uses a, you know, different uniform for different jackets for different grades. So if you're a first year, second year, third year student, you would have different, uh, jackets. Right, maybe something like that. But anyways, uh, so that's that. Um, a little quick bit of trivia, I guess, since she does involve drawing. You know, her, her character is that she's similar to Nanako, but um, instead of writing in Senru's, Sen Senru's she instead draws uh, or sketches. Um, and as I was saying, the quick bit of trivia is in regards to, you know, the part where Nanako was holding up her holding up the the pencil or or stretching tool up to the model right and then she was like hey i don't know why they why artists actually do that um it's a common trope that we see in lots of different movies or manga or whatnot but uh, has anybody really thought of why they did it well actually it's to the reason why that's used is to use your tool you know it doesn't have to be your pen or pencil or or whatever it is you're holding but it just makes sense because you're already holding it right so the purpose of that is actually to look at the relative proportions of the object that you're trying to draw if it's a human then you can use the tool to say okay so uh, this person's arm is maybe you know uh, one third of the length of this tool or whatnot whereas whereas the body is maybe two-thirds of the length and then you can have this kind of relative proportion so that is why and a lot of times you can see artists holding up their you know their paint their uh, pencil or sketching tool or whatever and holding it up to the model um <laughs> so that's that just thought it would be a little bit fun interesting bit of trivia um in regards to this episode um, again, I really did enjoy the humor. Um, I don't know why that part with, where uh, Nanako and Kino were interacting. That part was just so funny to me. And it's actually uh, a scene that can only be enhanced through the anime format, right? It does That kind of joke doesn't really work uh, in a manga form since it's silent anyways. But because this is a anime, you know... They've always been sort of internal monologuing their uh, what they have written either in Zenru form or uh, drawn out, right? So we as viewers are actually kind of um, already familiar with this kind of method and even though in actuality they're not speaking anything, they do speak to us. So we're getting comfortable with that idea. Well, actually if we remove that and go back to how it actually is it's quite ridiculous right you got somebody whose writings in senders on paper and then another person who's responding by drawing like the whole concept is actually ridiculous and so i think that's what made it doubly funny for me um so yeah i thought that that was a great touch and definitely adds to the humor of this 
uh, show over all. And uh, one minor complaint that has been kind of bugging me throughout this episode, and probably it happened in the previous episodes as well, but it's especially prominent here. It's that, you know, when you're, when just one scene before you are expressing either doubt or rage or fear or whatnot, uh, and then ever every time in the very next scene they sort of like reset their character expressions into sort of like a resting smile i feel like that kind of throws me off a little bit like one scene before um you know the part where nanako there was a scene in there where nanako was acting off all scared and whatnot because she was afraid this there was this new uh comer who was going to take away ag or try to woo ag and then immediately in the next scene you know, in the previous scene, she's going all all nervous and such, uh, and all flustered. And then immediately in the next scene, her expression reset into just a, you know, a smile. So that was a little bit off-putting to me. I feel like they maybe were a little bit too lazy in that part. But other than that, I mean, even that you can say is sort of a minor nitpick. But it was I don't know why, but it was especially noticeable to me this episode. So, anyways, that's been Senru Shoujo. Um, again, funny episode with good humor, and we got a new addition to the cast. So, hopefully, and she's also a unique girl in her own right. So, hopefully, we will be able to see more shenanigans in the future. So, anyways, that's been episode four of Senru Shoujo, and I'll see you guys next time.